What's up guys, this is Dan Adams with Next Level Riding Clinics and today we're talking about tracks. The 2.6 versus the 3 inch, 155 all the way up to 174. Let's get into it. So personal preference, if I had, a, had one sled and I needed one track to do the job all season long, no matter what the snow condition, I'm definitely a 163-2.6 guy. Um, if I didn't have just the one sled, having a three inch, especially a three inch 174, man, what a crazy track. I mean, there are so many advantages of that, depending on the snow condition that you're in, but if you're in deep, deep snow, you got big power, having a three inch track can be an, an advantage. The 2.6 though, in terms of versatility, in terms of whatever elevation, whatever snowpack you're in, there really isn't, uh, well, not so far, there really isn't uh, a track that I think is gonna do a better job than the 2.6. So track lengths, 155, 63, and 74. I get a lot of people telling me that why would you lose the sort of the playfulness or just maybe the quickness of a 155 to go to a 163. And the difference is always in the snow itself. When you've got deep, deep snow, I can have just as much fun on a 163 or even 74 as anybody riding a 155. So it's really relatable to the snow depth itself. If all you rode were spring-like conditions, you didn't have a ton of snow, would a 155 be the better choice there? And I think the answer is sure it would. If you're not trenching or worried about trenching, you're up on top of the snow and it's kind of go anywhere snow, a 155, it's just less material rotating around. Is it gonna be quicker? And the answer is sure it would. But there again, when you're looking for that one particular track and that one particular paddle, the 163.26 to me is by far the most versatile setup you can have. Yeah, so something to consider when you're questioning whether or not you wanna be uh, a 2.6 versus a three inch guy is whether or not you wanna be belt drive versus chain case. As we know from the Polaris line of things, uh, to have a three inch track, you've gotta be in a, in a chain case uh, for that longer sled like that. Uh, you can get a 155 2.6 uh, at Snowcheck that's a chain case and that's in our SKS models. Um, but if you want that belt drive and you want that low inertia, less rotating mass, you know, that's where you're gonna be in that 2.6. In the aftermarket, you can take a three inch chain case setup and go with a belt drive conversion. Therein lies a bit more money, but then you kind of get the best of both worlds. You'd have a belt driven sled with the three inch track. Um, why you'd want to put a chain case back once you were already belt driven would be news to me, um, but those are some differences that you should consider when looking at the three inch versus the two six. So guys, this is just my opinion. I'd love to hear from you. Make sure that you comment below, subscribe to the channel, and we wanna hear your feedback. Also, if there's any other videos of things that you wanna see from us, make sure to put those in the comments as well. Uh, thanks a lot, and we'll see you this winter. Have a good one.